This is how I scratch my face when I have makeup on. <laughs> Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabang and today we're going to carry on with the series of single eyeshadow use. So um, let's get into it. Oh, I greet you all in the name of Boom Shakalaka. Yeah, I just decided to pull the hair up. Um, what do you guys think? Uh... The single eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is from the NYX Way by It palette. I know you guys are sick of me talking about it, but like, just get get on with the program, okay? I'm going to be using that yellow shade, which is my favorite. Just a couple of things, like, uh, I actually bought the single uh, shadow from NYX, the yellow one, and it was not so great. It was very powdery, so I'd say... Um, don't go for that one if you're looking for a bright shade. This single shadow is mm, too powdery and it just doesn't have a lot of pigment, but this one does. This is how much I love yellow on my eyes. I bought this palette here, which is a Laura Lee um, Petty Animal palette. I saw her demo it and I love bright, vivid colors that I, um, I bought it from secondhand from a lady. She hadn't used it. There's a group on Facebook called Beauty Swap and Sell. South Africa and like all the beauty gurus and junkies like myself are in there but anyway she got it from Boxy Charm last year's Boxy Charm and she was selling it for like 150 or 200 rand and I got this palette because of this yellow shade here it's actually quite lime it's not yellow but I was like oh my goodness okay cool um, it'll do the job it was so bad like I've probably just used it a couple of times because I have to use it. These shades are gorgeous, but there's something wrong with them. I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's just powder, 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 powder. And it just doesn't blend well, doesn't stick. I'm, I'm not amazed by it. I think you can tell. So I'm going to move right along and use the NYX. Um, let's get started. So I'm just going to take a... Oh, yeah, a small brush, um, like a petite, it says Lux Petite Crease Brush, and I am going to dip it in, into that um, color, coat the brush with that color, and just tap off a little bit of the powder, and put it onto my crease. Mmm. Oh yes, can you see that color? Mm. So, so wonderful. I'm just gonna pat this color in. We're gonna blend later. There is a little bit of fallout on this color in particular. Um, let's just hope it doesn't stain my under eye. But yeah, there's a little bit of fallout. It's a little bit powdery. I realize I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just like talking to my mirror and not looking at you guys, which is so rude of me. And as you get to the edges, right, feel free to sort of, um, like what I did over here, I just continued with the brush in a straight line here. Instead of curving down, I then at the corners, I sort of curve outwards or in a much straight line, just to open up your eye a little bit. I said in a previous video that I prefer a smaller brush for my eyelids, um, a small brush like head like this one in, for my eyelids because I have a small eye and hooded eyes, right? So it's just easier to sort of pack on the color and put it in the right places. So if I'm aiming for the crease, I just, it's very angled, small and angled that, you know, the color is coated on the crease. As the reason why I have never used this brush is because it is so huge and it sort of just um, disperses the color everywhere. Like that 
brush head is it's just a little bit too big i mean you can use it for um your transition area like just above the eyelid but if i was to dunk this in color my eyebrow would also be coated in color so because it's still clean and brand new i'm just going to use that to blend the edges and like open up my eyelid a little bit more just so that we don't have that color um on my brow i'm just gonna blend 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 on the outwards just to diffuse that um, yellow shade. I'm gonna swirl my finger in the um, uh, palette. My finger's coated and I'm just gonna put that on my lid. And it just pops a little bit more. It just like pops just a little bit more. a little bit of fallout um, I'm just gonna take this brush um, fluffy brush sweep it away sweep it away cool um, let me just feather the edges if you want to be really dramatic just keep on dragging that color um, towards the edges like over here now I feel like I want to make dinner plans with somebody's child Somebody's son hit me up. Let's go out for dinner. It's mean. <laughs> oh my god, so awkward. Just for the drama. Just for the drama of it all. Why not? What is going to bring this look together is a wing liner. So let's get on with that. It's just the black of the wing is going to just watch and see. So I'm just going to wait for the eyeliner to dry up a little bit. Obviously, they're not identical. They're not looking the same. Um, this one, I wish it had, I just gotten a little bit higher. I should have trusted myself to go a little bit higher. But we'll fix that in a second. Hmm. I'm going to take a brush, right? And just use it. I just wrapped it in a cotton bud. Use the brush to up that wing okay so after it dried down it sort of flaked off which is um, which helped um, salvage the situation um, yeah I went a little bit too low with that uh, wing especially this one this one just looks like can indicate that like to the left to the left it's supposed to rise up high so i'm just gonna fan it to dry up a little bit and then um we're gonna fix it i'm wondering if i should edit this out of the video because i'm so embarrassed but this is the first time you guys have seen me doing an eyeliner and instead of dogging myself because i'm so like I don't want to be negative, you know, dogging myself like, oh, I can't do a wing liner. I thought, like, let me do it, even though I know I'm a little bit bad at them. And you know what, like, we're, we're just going for it. Uh, yeah, so I wonder if I should cut this out and just show you the perfect wing or show you that disasters do happen when you're doing your makeup and you can salvage any situation with makeup, including starting all over again if you have to. <laughs> But yeah, these things happen and it's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm not an expert, but I, because I love makeup, I am going to put in the effort to do and do better. Yeah. So 
that humble wing i kind of like this eye like the wing i mean it's not perfect it's not that great but no this one's headed in the right direction this one's got it's promising you know there we go there we go yeah that initial one was a little bit low but this one is headed in the right direction i'm too afraid to like wing it out some more just in case i make up another mistake and this side as well i'm just gonna cool we're gonna practice until we are perfect how about that nothing to deter us from you know learning and doing better cool well, i'm gonna go in with the revlon um volume and ma um, magnifying mascara and let's coat these bad bad we're gonna put on a lip and wrap up this video we're done this is the final look of color using one eyeshadow uh color um yeah what do you guys think i swapped the brown lip because it was a little bit dull and boring it just dialed down the look and put on the red i just decided look we're going for color let's put on more color it's a fun little look sunday brunch with the girls and wine mm, wine's always a good idea and yeah what do you guys think of the look um i'm gonna step outside to show you what it looks like in natural lighting and yeah uh this is the final look with the palette oh my goodness the sun is out and it is so bright <laughs> i wasn't expecting it to be that bright um trying to ruin my outro this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to show you what it looks like a natural lighting bright um yellow oh. yeah um i'm hoping you can see the highlighter and the eyes what they look like thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye Ugh. Okay. I've got natural hair, so this is what happens when you have natural hair. It just seems to like poke out and like make it make its way out. But um yeah, we've got three more months to go. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Maybe a month. <laughs> well 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 well